Hi there. Welcome to Chem 112, General Chemistry 2. I'm Professor Kevin Osman, and I'll be teaching your class this fall. I'm excited to be your guide through this material. Believe me, I know that chemistry can be an intimidating subject even in a normal year, but I'm confident that each of you has the capability to succeed in this course. It's my job to help you succeed. But as we are all painfully aware, this is not a normal year. COVID-19 has thrown every university into disarray, both for you, the students, and for us, the faculty. We are all finding ourselves having to be flexible in ways we had never imagined before, and to adopt, even invent, new ways to do our jobs. Your job to learn, my job to teach. None of us are going to get everything right as we navigate our way through our new reality. But with some care, resilience, and understanding, we will get enough right that we will meet our goals, support each other, and hopefully even have some fun in the process. Not surprisingly, I've already gotten quite a few emails from you concerned about how the course will be structured, so I'm going to take this opportunity to give you a sketch of how we're going to handle it. All of this will be described in more detail in the syllabus, and I encourage you to ask me about any details that still aren't clear. All in all, there are about 240 of you, split among four sections. The only thing your section matters for is which one day of the week will be your optional face-to-face -face class. This is for social distancing to keep all of us safe. I felt it was very important in an intro-level class for there to be at least some face-to-face -face time. You can always log in remotely to any of the four sessions during a week, but if you want to show up in person, do it on your assigned day. But, as COVID-19 during the spring semester proved, we need to be ready to pivot to an entirely online format at any time. And should that happen, everyone's schedule can be completely disrupted. Because of this, these synchronous sessions will not be where new material will be introduced. Instead, these sessions will focus on working problems, giving many lectures on points of confusion, answering questions from the physically present students or from those that are logged in remotely, and so on. And these sessions will be videotaped and posted on Blackboard. The timestamps within those videos where different topics are covered will be indexed so that on your own time, you can jump directly to the material you want to see in the videos for any of the sessions you didn't attend. The rest of the course can be completed on your own schedule, and since the synchronous class sessions themselves are recorded and attendance is optional, you can have a completely asynchronous experience if you prefer. The original delivery of new content is through an online textbook and through video lectures that I'm in the process of making for you. The video lectures check your understanding as you go along with embedded quizzes. There are homeworks, small group activities, and, unfortunately, exams, all of which can be done online. And there are a whole host of ways you can get extra help, some from your peers in class, some from a wonderful group of instructors in the Chemistry Instructional Center, and some from me directly. All of this is explained in the syllabus, so take a few minutes to read that over and then send me any questions you may still have. Very soon, you should be looking forward to my first weekly announcement email that will help you stay on track with the various moving parts that comprise the course. In that email, I will point you to a survey that will help me get to know you better individually and help me assign you to a group with a similar working style and schedule to yours. These small group activities are a new addition to the course this year, and I'm particularly excited to share them with you. We're going to be delving into some fascinating real-world implications of chemistry in contexts that may surprise you. In the process, we will discover how we know that the Earth is 4.5 billion years old, explore why the concepts underlying the popular alkaline diet don't make any sense, and demonstrate that an entire $15 billion per year industry is a fraud. Welcome to the class.